All right, hey everyone. Uh, today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take you through a little walkthrough of how to add in your Amazon account into the ClickShip platform. Uh, to begin with, is what you're gonna do is if you're on the dashboard here in ClickShip, you're gonna want to go to where it says Marketplaces. Um, once you're in Marketplaces, you're gonna want to click on the green bar where it says Add New Marketplaces, um, and now you'll see Amazon listed as an option. And you'll kind of just want to go through these steps here that we have listed. Um, first things first, you want to authorize your ClickShip as a seller on Amazon. Um, you can go to manage your apps. Is that what we're going to do already? Okay, so perfect. We're in manage your apps. Let's go back to ClickShip and see the next step. Um, we're going to authorize ClickShip as a new developer. So if you go back to Amazon, you'll see authorize new developer, which will take you to a next page um, where you'll have to enter in the developer's name and developer ID, uh, which we provide within ClickShip. As you'll see here, ClickShip is the name and the developer account number will be right here. So we're just going to copy and paste that information. Uh, so what you're going to do is click on the next button. Um, what you'll want to do here is just kind of read the terms and conditions um, by basically letting us, you know, third party acts, access your account. So once you've read that, you're going to want to click agree, click on next. Perfect. So what we'll do now is go back to ClickShip and follow the next steps uh, where it asks us to enter in the credentials of Amazon. Right. So we'll need the seller ID along with the token, which is provided here. So if we just scroll down, we can get the, the seller ID, the marketplace ID, and the token. Uh, so this would be the token right here. You can see the example that we have. It should start with Amazon.MWS. So we're just going to copy that, uh, add that into ClickShip. As you can see here, the exact same example. Right? And the Amazon seller ID is also here as well. We'll just copy and paste the same thing. Seller ID, uh, it's the first one that starts A3T. We'll just copy that and paste that. Make sure there's no backspaces, anything like that. All right. Perfect. So once that's done, we're going to verify it. Um, what it'll ask you from there is um, if your store is a .ca or .com. If it's an American store, obviously .com. If it's Canadian, you do .ca. So from there, what we'll do is enter in the Amazon store name. Perfect. So once you connect your store, it's going to tell you the terms and conditions and what you'll need to know um, with Amazon and what features we do offer and what we don't offer. Um, once you've done that, please accept the conditions and integrate your store. And from there, it'll pull in your products and your orders right from Amazon into ClickShip, uh, where you'll be able to fulfill them using our discounted pricing. Um, hopefully this little tutorial was helpful. Um, you can also give us a shout. You can email us at customercare@clickship.com, uh, or you can give us a call at one 877 Three three five eight seven four zero. In the event you ever run into any issues, have any questions, uh, we're always here to help.